In December of 1660, a petition was sent to King Charles II. The petition came from members of my community, the Spanish and Portuguese Jews Congregation of England. They had asked the king to allow for them to remain in the country, because when he became king, there were those who protested the presence of the Jews in England. The petition was met with the king's favor, and the king did allow for the Spanish and Portuguese Jews in England to remain in the country, and he graciously supported them. From that time, the relationship between the monarch and the S&P community has been very strong, and there are many stories about the relationship between the kings and queens of England and the Spanish and Portuguese community. This Shabbat, that special relationship will be reaffirmed, and I am very grateful and honored to be able to represent my community, the S&P Sephardi community, at the coronation of His Majesty King Charles III. And the King has been a tremendous support during his lifetime for the Jewish community at large and for our community specifically. Uh, he attended the 350th anniversary of the readmittance of the Jews of England to this country uh, that was held at our synagogue at Bevis Marks. Bevis Marks is the oldest synagogue in the country. The King is also a patron of Bevis Marks Synagogue, in which he supports the development and preservation of that most special synagogue. Uh, we are very grateful to His Majesty the King for his support of the Jewish community, for, this, for his patronage of Bevis Marks Synagogue, and on behalf of the entire S&P community, we wish the King a long and prosperous reign.